بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعض This is a continuation of the one classes which will be going out of the book of Abu Nur Sheikh Sheikh Salam Ibn Sa'id Ta'awil Hafibu Allah Ta'ala which is questions and answers dealing with basic Akira points basic Akira and Minhaj points and the title of the book is As-Ilatu Wa Ajwaba Dissigar Questions and answers for the youth. Questions and answers for the youth. And now we'll start. First question. Men Rabbuk, who is your Lord? The answer to that is Rabbi Allah Ta'ala. My Lord the Law, the Most High. Next question. Ain Allah Ta'ala. Ta Where is Allah, the Blessed the Most High? The answer, Allah Ta'ala fi samai, Allah is above his throne. Allah is above his throne. The next question, ma haqqu Allah ala ibad, what is the right of Allah Ta'ala over his servants? The answer to that is, an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bihi shay'an. And is that we worship him and we do not associate anything with him in worship. We do not associate anything in him in worship. That's the right that Allah Ta'ala has over us. Is that we do not worship him and we do not associate partners with him. Next question. Akmilin Haditha Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and complete the hadith of the Messenger when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Men Raditu Billahi Men Kala Raditu Billahi Rabbi Whoever says, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord. Now complete the rest of the hadith. The answer is, will be the Islamic dinam, will be Muhammadan Nabiyan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, rajabat lahu jannah. And the completion of the hadith is, whoever, whoever says, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord, and Islam is my religion, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is my prophet, is a is obligatory upon them to enter a gender. That is obligatory upon them to enter a gender. Next question. Limaza Khalakan Allah Ta'ala wa ma dalilu. Why did Allah Ta'ala create us and what is the proof for it? The answer is Li Ibadatihi Wahdahu. To worship him alone. To worship him alone. And the proof of that is the saying of Allah Ta'ala, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجَنَّةَ وَالْإِنسَانَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ So it's a bad yet. Which the meaning of the ayat is, And I have not created the jinn and mankind except to worship me. I have not created the jinn and mankind except to worship me. So it's a bad yet. And where the hadith can be found, which we said in question number four, Women call her Rabbi Tabullahi Rabban will be Islamic Deen, will be Muhammad and Nabiyan, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wajabat Lahu Jannah, the Hadith is found in, can be found in the Sunan of Abi Dawood, on the third tier Abu Sa'id al Khudri, and Sheikh al Bani declared the Sahih in the Sisal Hadith al Sahih. Next question Ma Azlamu Wajibin Alayna, what is the, the most great, greatest obligation upon us? What is the most greatest obligation upon us? Answer, at tawheed Tawheed is the greatest obligation upon us. Wa huwa ifradu Allahi ta'ala bima yastahikku. It is the same way Allah in all acts of worship. It is the same way Allah in all acts of worship and all of that which is true. All acts of worship. The same way Allah in all acts of worship. Next question. Is Quran and why not? Tawheed. Memorize the categories of Tawheed. Memorize the types of a Tawheed. The answer to that is a Tawheed al Rubiya, a Tawheed al Uluhiya, a Tawheed Asma'i wa Sifat. Tawheed al Uluhiya, Tawheed al Rubiya, and Tawheed Asma'i wa Sifat. Next question Ma kalimata Tawheed wa ma'anaha. What is the Statement of Tawheed in its meaning. What is the statement of Tawheed in its meaning? 
answer, Kalimat al Tawheed, here, La ilaha illallah. The statement of Tawheed is La ilaha illallah. Wa ma'anaha, in its meaning, La ma'abud bil haqqi illallah. That none has the right to worship except Allah, and this is a proof for those who say that La ilaha, this is a proof against those who say La ilaha illallah means there is no God but Allah, but indeed there are things worshipped other than Allah Ta'ala. And Allah is the only one that has the right to be worshipped. And that's the meaning of La ilaha illallah. Next question. Akhmin al hadith called Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma min ahadin yashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadin rasulullah. Complete the hadith of the statement of the message of Allah. Well, when, one of you said, when one of you says, I testify that none has the right to worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the message of Allah. The answer to that is Sidqan min kalbihi illa harramahu Allahu ta'ala na'ar Then Sincerely from his heart Except that Allah will make the hellfire Impermissible for him So the whole hadith is Wa ma min ahadin ashadu an la ilaha illallah Wa anna muhammad rasulullah Sidqan min kalbihi illa harramahu Allahu ta'ala na'ar one of you says that I testify that none has the right to worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the message of Allah sincerely from your heart except that Allah will make the hellfire impermissible for you. Except that Allah will make the hellfire impermissible for you. Next question. What is the greatest of oppression or sin? Shirk for the Allah Ta'ala. Associate partners with Allah Ta'ala. Next question. Ma shirk. What is a shirk? Answer for that is Huwa ibaduhu ilayhan min dunillahi ta'ala o ma'allahi ta'ala. It is the worship, worship something other than Allah ta'ala or with Allah ta'ala. To worship something other than Allah or something with Allah ta'ala. And the proof for worshiping something with Allah ta'ala is some of the Christian sects. They worship Isa ibn Maryam with Allah Ta'ala. When they make dua, they make dua to Isa ibn Maryam. Or they make dua to Allah, but they end it off saying in the name of Isa ibn Maryam. This is a form of worship with Allah, worship with Allah Ta'ala. They make dua to Allah, but they end up ending the dua, dua, dua with mentioning Isa ibn Maryam. In the hadith which we just mentioned, whoever says the shirk, whoever says the Nazareth right, and worship with Allah to end of the hadith, is collected to Bukhari, Muslim, on the talk Anas Ibn Ma'ala. And this is what I wanted to present today. Anything that I said that was incorrect is from myself and the Shaytan. Anything that I said that was correct, all praises due to Allah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Ashara wa la ilaha anta astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi wa akhir da'wana. And alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.